I'm just going to be doing a uh, bookshelf tour just because I have kind of started doing all these book videos and I figured it would be nice to have some sort of reference to see how my bookshelf is going to be changing. Some of them are my boyfriend's, a lot of them like the war books and the engineering books are all his because we share a bookshelf but almost all of them are mine and yeah so I'm just gonna get right on into it and start at the top shelf. Go the F to Sleep by Adam Mansbach. WTF, How to Survive 101 of Life's Worst Effing Situations by Gregory Bergman and Anthony W. Haddad. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. Number one and two of Sainara Zetsubo Sensei by Koji Kumita. Mamate Lollipop by Michiyu Kikuta. Firsts and Lasts and Onlys Military by Jeremy Beadle and Ian Harrison. The Water Babies by Charles Kingsley. The Batman Handbook, The Ultimate Training Manual by Scott Beatty, The Ultimate Fairies Handbook by Susanna Marriott, Emily Winsnap and the Monsters from the Deep by Liz Kessler, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, From Where You Dream by uh, Robert Olin Butler, The Rosie Project by Graeme Simpson, Ingo by Helen Dunmore, 101 Habits of Highly Successful Novelists by Andrew McCallier, Stephen King on writing, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Six Great Sherlock Holmes Stories. Next we have The Spell of the Sensuous by David Abram, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald, Tith, A Modern Fairy Tale by Holly Black, City of Glass, Book 3 in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, and this is here just because it's so tiny and I regret it forever. Little Fur, A Fox Called Sorrow by Isabel Carmody. How to Archer, The Ultimate Guide to Espionage and Style and Women and Also Cocktails, ever written by Sterling Archer. Kit's Law by Donna Morrissey. Book 1 and Book 5 of the Maximum Ride manga by James Patterson, but it is illustrated by Noray Lee. The Alphabet of Manliness by Maddox. Dark Knights and Dingy Castles and Greek Legends by Terry Deary. Practical Writer. The Staff of Poets and Writers Magazine. Vampires in Their Own Words. An anthology of vampire voices edited by Michelle Boulanger. Shadow Castle by Marion Cockrell. World's Worst Crimes and A to Z of Evil Deeds by Charlotte Grigg. Okay, so then we have bookshelf number two, which is kind of like series and just kind of a mix up of whatever. First we have Dracula by Bram Stoker. Dracula the Undead, which is like the sequel to the original classic by Dacker Stoker and Ian Holt. I totally don't know how to say that right. Twilight, New Moon, Breaking Dawn, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Eclipse, and then The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Bloodsucking Fiends by Christopher Moore. An ugly version of Dracula. The Merciless by Danielle Vega. Marked by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. Monkey Beach by Eden Robinson. The Fallen, Book 1 by Thomas E. Snagoski. Dearly Departed by Leah Habel. The Poison Eaters and Other Stories by Holly Black. And then I have all of the Mortal Instruments series, except for City of Glass, which is right above it because it's a stupid size. The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, followed by the first three in the series, which I have in paperback. And this one is really cool because my dad wrote in it. Sarah first read this book on November 6, 2001. She was nine years old. Good job, Sarah. Dad. And I just really like that. Obviously, it wasn't my first book that I ever read, but I just like that I have something kind of, I don't know, book remindery. And then the last four books in the Harry Potter series, uh, which are all in hardback. The Sorcerer's Companion, A Guide to the Magical World of Harry Potter by Alan Zola Kronzik and Elizabeth Kronzik. Then we have The Giver by Lois Lowry. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Rakes. Harry, A History by Melissa Anelli. The Forest by Edward Rutherford. On the side we have This Star Won't Go Out 
by Esther Earl, The Archive by Victoria Schwab, Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter, Dark Secrets 1 by Elizabeth Chandler, and this includes Legacy of Lies and Don't Tell, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Obsidian, the first book in the Luck series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Pledge by Kimberly Dirting, The Night World series by L.J. Smith, and this is volume 1, 2, and 3, which includes Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, Spellbinder, Dark Angel, The Chosen, Soulmate, Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. Then we have The Iron Fate, Volume 1 by Julie Kagawa, which includes The Iron King and The Iron Daughter. Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. The Lost Hero, the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Yours for Eternity by Hannah Howell, Alexandra Ivy, and Kathleen O'Reilly. And there is no dust cover, so yeah. Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. The first two books in the Murdoch Mystery series by Maureen Jennings, which is Except the Dying and Under the Dragon's Tale. The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and the Struggle by L.J. Smith. The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. Embrace by Jessica Shervington. Other half of this bookshelf. First we have The Strain by Chuck Hogan and Guillaume del Toro. Then we have Sweep Volume 1 by Kate Tiernan, which includes Book of Shadows, The Coven, and Blood Witch. Also by Kate Tiernan, we have Balefire, which is the entire series, which includes The Chalice of Wind, A Circle of Ashes, A Feather of Stone, and A Necklace of Water. Thirst Number 1 by Christopher Pike, which includes The Last Vampire, Black Blood, and Red Dice. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Diversion by Veronica Roth. Across the Universe by Beth Revis, Peter and the Shadow Thieves by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson, and this is actually the second book in a series, and I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I really want to read the first one first, so I'm just waiting to enjoy this bad boy. Need by Carrie Jones. Shadow Life, A Portrait of Anne Frank and Her Family by Barry Denenberg. Beguiled by Deanne Gist and J. Mark Bertrand. No Great Mischief by Alistair MacLeod. Dracula, My Love, The Secret Journals of Mina Harker by Cyrie James. Wicked Lovely by Marissa Marr. Splintered by A.G. Howard. The Gates by John Connolly. The Edge of Nowhere by Elizabeth George. Okay, so now we're on the fourth um, shelf, which is really just kind of the taller things and a lot of my reference books for writing. The Everything Guide to Writing a Novel by Joyce and Jim Levine. Writing 21st Century Fiction by Donald Moss. On Writing Horror by the Horror Writers Association, edited by Mort Castle. The Marshall Plan for Novel Writing by Evan Marshall. The Breakout Novelist by Donald Moss. Write Your Novel in a Month by Jeff Girk, Writer's Workshop in a Book, edited by Alan Schuess and Lisa Alvarez, The Writing Diet by Julia Cameron, The Right to Write by Julia Cameron, Handbook of Short Story Writing by The Writer's Digest, Crafting Novels and Short Stories from the Editors of Writer's Digest, The Daily Reader by Fred White, No Plot, No Problem, A Low Stress, High Velocity Guide to Writing a Novel in 30 Days by Chris Beatty, and he is the founder of uh, NaNoWriMo, so this is a totally awesome book. Literary Terms, A Dictionary uh, by Carl Beckson and Arthur Gans, Ron Carlson Writes a Story by Ron Carlson, a Shite History of Nearly Everything by A. Perdi, Pale Demon by Kim Harrison, Encyclopedia of Haunted Places, compiled and edited by Jeff Belanger. Okay, so, moving on. The Blood Gospel by James Rollins and Rebecca Cantrell. Then we have book two and book three in the Strain series by Chuck Hogan and Guillaume del Toro, which is The Fall and Night Eternal. Scarpetta by Patricia Cornwall. The Mercy Seller by Brenda Rickman Van Trees. The Dead of Winter by Rennie Earth. The Dark Heroine by Abigail Gibbs. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The Taliban Don't Wave by Robert Simrau. 
A Briefer History of Time by Stephen Hawking, Juliet by Anne Fortier, The CSI Effect by Catherine Ramsland, The Vampire Book, The Encyclopedia of the Undead by J. Gordon Melton, Blogging for Dummies, Eight Books in One by Suzanne Gunnelius, The Literary Lady's Guide to the Writing Life by Neva Atlas, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, Archie Meets Kiss, Archie, Obama, and Palin in Riverdale. The Fantastic Kingdom by David Larkin. Okay, so next we have this like little weird shelf. Uh, it's double stacked, but behind it is just a whole bunch of Archie comics, so I'm not gonna bother to bring them all out. Okay, so first, we have Craig Derrick, The Story of Dunsmuir Castle by Terry Rexton. Then we have Titania's Fortune Cards, kind of like a tarot kind of card with a little book inside. The Training of Children by the General of the Salvation Army. And this book is really cool because it is from uh, 1884. You're traveling into the mindset of parents back in the past and it's just like really cool and I still have stickers on I need to take those off. Vlad The Last Confession by C.C. Humphreys, V.C. Andrews Secrets in the Attic, The Witching Hour by Anne Rice, Merrick by Anne Rice, Dracula in London edited by P.N. Elrod, The Bone Parade by Mark Nyakanen, Dean Kuntz The Demon Seed, Perfume The Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind, Lady of the Forest, a novel of Sherwood by Jennifer Robertson. False Light by Carolyn Lewin. Lewin. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. Okay, I had to move the camera over. Then we have The Cave by Anne McLean Matthews. Star Trek The Next Generation Sins of Commission by Susan Wright. The Witch of Blackbird Pond by Elizabeth George Spear. Stephen King, Everything's Eventual, 14 Dark Tales. Stephen King, Salem's Lot. Stephen King, Joyland, William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White, The Elements of Style, Beyond the Deep Woods, The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. Then we have Thinner by Stephen King, writing as Richard Bachman, Bestseller by Celia Brayfield, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark, and this book is a behemoth, Frankenstein by Dean Koontz, then we have The Mysterious Death of Miss Jane Austen by Lindsay Ashford. Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. Blood Song by Kat Adams. The Weekend Novelist by Robert J. Ray. The Alchemist, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel by Michael Scott. Dime Store Magic by Kelly Armstrong. Rules of Thumb 2 by Tom Parker. Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk. And Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk. Alright, and then we have the really random bottom shelf, which is a lot of textbooks and more reference books and big kind of comic books. Just like the big ass books that did not fit anywhere else. This is gonna be weird. I'm just gonna go like top to bottom. Tintin in Tibet. Fairy Stories and CD for my future children. Practical Magic uh, by Marion Green. A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. Cinderella by Walt Disney. Bears by Wayne Lynch. Collins Children's Annual, and this thing is so cool. I don't know when it's from, but there's an inscription from 1922, so it is at least that old. Then we have The Fairy Tales of Hans Christian Andersen. Foundations of Criminal and Civil Law in Canada. Actually, this is my friend's textbook. I should give this back. The Hobbit, just collector's edition of the Rolling Stones. Wood Carving Basics by David Sibol. <laughs> Physics for Scientists and Engineers. South Alberta's A Canadian Regiment at War by Donald E. Graves. Criminal Justice, first edition by Gina Antionassi. The Making of the West, Peoples and Cultures by a whole bunch of people. Responsible Drinking, Jim Murray's Complete Book of Whiskey, Reader's Digest Illustrated Stories of World War II, Engineering Communication. Okay, next section. The Amazing Spider-Man Election Day, The Complete Dracula, Heroes Volume 1, Mickey Mouse, The Evolution, The Legend, The Phenomenon. Then we have an empty family tree book. It has nothing in it. I need to fill it up. 
Captain Raptor and the Space Pirates by Kevin O'Malley and Patrick O'Brien. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, The Christmas Story, The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell, Helen and Hobbes' Lazy Sunday Book by Bill Watterson, A Woman's Place, 70 Years in the Lives of Canadian Women from the pages of Chatelaine Magazine, Celebrating the 2010-2011 Season of Vancouver Canuck, Canadian Criminal Justice, A Primer by Kurt T. Griffiths, Audrey Hepburn in the Movies by Timothy Knight, Psychology of Criminal Behavior, A Canadian Perspective, Canadian Politics, Critical Approaches by Rand Dick, Don Cherry's Hockey Stories and Stuff, Gretzky's Tears by Steph Brunt, This is the Canadian Revolution by Peter C. Newman, John Grisham's Sycamore Row, Discovering the Western Past, Crime and Criminology and Introduction by Rob White, Fiona Haynes, and Lauren Eisler, How Societies Work by Joanne Nyman, the Elements of Moral Philosophy, Understanding Societies by Gillian Balfour, The Spiral Dance by Starhawk, The Faces of World War II by Max Hastings, The Power of Critical Thinking by People I Don't Care About, Integrated Course in Elementary Japanese, An Illustrated History of Western Canada by Tony Cashman, the Pioneers, The Picture Story of Canadian Settlement by JMS Careless. New LaRousse Encyclopedia of Mythology. Chronicle of the Year 1992. Star Wars Complete Vehicles. And this is just uh, Ansel Adams' six photographs suitable for framing. And it's just like pictures. And then over here I just have like Archie Comics, pasta, and then more Archie Comics. And I have a big box of books that I need to donate to the hospital that my grandparents volunteer at and then behind it there's kind of like a box with more books in it but there's just like a whole bunch of junk over there and I'm not gonna go through not worth it hashtag but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video with me and if you have any questions at all about any of the books that I've shown you feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability and if you have an opinion on any of the books that I own that you absolutely love and that you think I should read like yesterday it's so good then definitely let me know because I'm always kind of hesitant on which books to pick to read next but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.